Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and feature a wallet here by Bellroy. Um, so this is the Bellroy flip case. Um, so uh, this is how it looks like from the front. And this is how it looks like from the back. And this is how it looks like from the top. So conceptually what's supposed to happen is you can go like this and you can put some cards in here and you can also flip right here and you can put some cards in here as well. There's a version one and there's a version two of this particular wallet. The version two actually can hold a little bit more, but it has cheaper materials inside. Version one doesn't hold as much, but in the inside, it looks a little bit nicer. Um, so let's just go ahead and just quickly do a card um, swap and put some cards inside. So for the first, um, let's go ahead and turn it from the back. I know that in the back here, you can hold about five cards here. So one, uh, two, three, four, and five. This is without cash, obviously, and without indentation, but this is it'll hold about five on this side. And then in the front, it can hold about two. So about one and two. And then the concept of this is basically, um, <clears throat> provided I can put that in there, it's like, you know, it, it just, you just open it up like this. And theoretically, it seemed pretty like a great idea. You know, it's sleek. You can open this up, pick the cards you want. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on it to go from there. I usually don't make a review, but now I think there's enough information here where I can make a decision. Um, so the I knew right off the bat that this wasn't going to hold many cards. And, that, you know, and I didn't care about that because I don't actually hold many cards in my wallet. Um, so I was willing to, you know, as long as it was, as long as it looks sleek and it was okay. However, there are two things about this wallet, which in my opinion are a deal breaker. So the first is you can't tell off video, not from my video or from other videos, or maybe you might, but actually the way it feels and the way it looks is very plasticky. And that to me is a deal breaker because I thought it would be like sleek leather or like really supple leather in the front. No, it feels and looks like plastic. That's a deal breaker for me. But the second deal breaker and the, and the most important deal breaker is that if I want to access a card here, right? You have to take out all the cards. The way it's set up, I can't, I can't take it, like take out the card I want. You have to basically take out all the cards and pick up what card you want. And that's a deal breaker. There's a simpler wallet, which is called the Chums, which can, which can do this far easier, right? It's this compact, this easy, right? And you can basically put in a card like this in the front right here, right? And you could just zip that up and close that up. I can quickly, in a wallet like this, quickly access what I want and choose what card I want, right? Or I can have some emergency cards in the front right here and put those cards right here. Or also I can put my license right there. This is a far more useful wallet to me than this is. Even though these, like, this is like 10 bucks. This is like something like, I forgot what, how much this was. This is a far more useful wallet. And um, this just doesn't do it, do it for me. Like, you, it's just not practical. Like, I'm just like sitting here like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? This is not good. And I, I know it looks like I'm like looking like one of those infomercial like guys. Like, oh my God, I can't even open up a freaking laundry door. But no, for real, this is like actually pretty cumbersome. Like, I, I can't recommend this. This is a deal breaker. I just can't recommend it. This is a, this is out of the mix. I would have been okay with it. Like, what's the point of having a minimalist wallet if it slows you down, you know, and this, this isn't doing it for me. So that's all I got to say. All right. You guys have a great one. All right. Bye.